Hey, everybody, it's the Amanda Seals Show. I'm Amanda Seals, and it's time for one of my favorite segments of the week, Watch Don't Watch, with our in-house fill-in TV critic, Mr. Desmond Thorne. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Very, very excited for this week. Uh, mm. This week we have new films from two directors oh. that I obviously love to pit against each other, Tyler <laughs> Perry and oh Lee Daniels. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay. So uh, first we have Tyler Perry's Divorce in the Black. This is now streaming on Amazon Prime. Have you seen this one, Amanda? No, I have not. No. Okay. Okay. So for those who don't know, this film stars Megan Good. And it's about a woman leaving her abusive husband and his abusive family behind, essentially. Uh, I have to say, this movie is not terrible as some of his latest fare has been. But okay. it is still more of a don't watch. And, you know, as we say always, don't completely disregard things from uh, Black creators. But no. this is one that you don't have to prioritize, <laughs> let's say, you know? Okay, um, okay. I feel like my bone to pick with this movie and many of his movies recently is that, like, it seems like there's not enough time, attention, and care paid to, like the details of the film, especially yes. in production. You know, like... Yes. It I seems think that's like, everyone's issue. 100%. And it seems like, you know, for example, the lighting. It seems like the intention is to make sure everything is lit and not lighting a film with actual purpose, you know? And it's this, just to make sure that the lights are on. That the lights are on, that everyone can be seen. Everyone and everything <sighs> can be seen. Okay. Um, and the same goes for, like, the production design, the costumes. And these are elements that kind of, no matter what the genre of the movie is, yeah. can and should still be on point. Like, 1,000%. <laughs> especially when you have your own studio and your own, like, company well, it's part of, things. It's part of filmmaking. I don't think exactly. enough... Exactly. I think people have to understand, like, filmmaking is a whole multi-facial art. 100%. And there yeah. are things that, like are just really essential to make a film a film. And this is missing mm. some of those things. I think even in the script, like, the story has good intentions and okay. could be impactful, is impactful in a couple of moments. And I think that's mostly because of Megan Good and Debbie mm. Morgan. Okay. They are acting. They really work through a script that's not super great um and it's an eve's bayou reunion they were uh, both in eve's bayou well we love which... eve's bayou <laughs> if you have not seen eve's bayou watch eve's bayou it is so good um yeah i mean have people oh, not seen eve's bayou wait let's yes <laughs> tj have you seen eve's bayou come on now yes okay. <laughs> Yay! Legit questions. Legit, Legit questions. questions. Important okay. questions. Uh, so yeah, overall with Divorce in the Black, I think it's worth watching for Megan Good and Debbie Morgan okay. in certain aspects of the story, especially near the end. But other than that, I think you can kind of like pump the brakes on it. You know, Die. don't have it high on the list. Okay. Uh, next, <laughs> we have Lee Daniels' The Deliverance, which is, will be streaming on Netflix on August 30th, but it is playing in two theaters that I can tell you about near the end right okay. now. Uh, it stars Andrew Day, and this is about a mom that discovers that there are demonic things happening in her house. Uh, <laughs> for me, this is mostly a watch. Uh, oh, really? If, okay. Yeah. If almost simply because it's a black horror film that doesn't have to do with white people really at all. And in a post-get-out world, I find that to be refreshing. <laughs> as okay. much as I love Get yeah, Out, yeah, yeah. it did kind of like... Uh, every horror film, except for his, have really kind of like been about white people <laughs> right. and race at some point. Um, it's definitely got kind of like a fun, campy-ish vibe to it, in a way, as many of his movies do, except for Precious, yes. which is just wow. a tragic film. Um, you know what the there, most tragic part of Precious was for me? What? The audience laughing like it was a comedy. Ooh, that's wild to me. Ooh, that's yeah. wild So I had AMC me. theaters on 42nd Street in New York, Ooh, and wow, I was that's... 
thoroughly confused. <laughs> That's probably the, the only benefit of me having seen that movie in the white suburbs of New Jersey Jesus. when I was in high school. Because it was just like dead silence. Just <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> Yeah. Uh, there is one white person in the deliverance uh, that is Glenn Close. Oh, she is playing that's a, a hell character. Of a white person to be in the film. <laughs> right. I cannot and actually do not want to describe her role in this film. I just think you need to see it. Uh, oh, she plays yeah. a character that I would describe as offensive, uh, not a racist, but certainly offensive. Um, oh, okay. And her so performance. A <laughs> Hilarious, hilarious. <laughs> uh, you, it must be seen to be believed. Okay. Uh, we also have Monique and Angelou, Angelou Ellis, Ellis Taylor in this film, eating down. It's a hell of a cast. It's a great cast. It's a great class. A uh, little boy from Stranger Things is also in this movie. Um, okay. Caleb McLaughlin and Monique yes. and Angenou acting down. Like once they mm-hmm. enter the movie, it really shifts into like a let's go kind of vibe. Yes. Um, I will say it is tonally all over the place. It's definitely like three different movies. <laughs> that's, that's a Lee Daniels thing, I think. <laughs> it's a Lee Daniels special. Um, and I do wonder if it'll translate when it's on TV streaming. But I will say if you're in LA or New York, And you can either go to the Egyptian in L.A. or the Paris Theater in New York, the Netflix theaters. Watch this movie. I hope you get set with a mostly black crowd because this is like a shouting at the screen kind of movie. Ah, Like a cut up. It's a cut up. So it's fun in that way, you know? All right. Well, we love it. Here you go, y'all. You got some options of things to watch from two black directors. Yes. Thank you once again, Desmond Thorne, for keeping us in the know. You know what to do. Keep it locked right here to the Amanda Seal Show. We've got more things to keep you in the know of because that's what we're here for, to listen, laugh, and learn. We up, we up, we up. 